Okay, we're watching PRT SVER8 print server. I just realized it. This probably is print server. Um, anyway, uh, gonna be playing Arisa on Numbani. This is bronze. I think it's on console, would be my guess. Help when playing Arisa. Usually I'm the worst player among my friends, but today I suck so much that everyone got real mad at me and probably won't be playing competitive mode for a while. Pretty sure I did something wrong, but I don't know what. My mindset during the match was basically to try to pick off enemies that got too close and to time my abilities with the enemy Bastion. My javelin accuracy is obviously terrible, so I'll have to work on that. But other than that, I'm dying way too quickly to do anything useful. My teammates keep on telling me to push further, and they were focusing all resources on me, but I just couldn't push when I got obliterated every time I show myself. I also couldn't find a good time to use my ult. I panic ulted once because my teammates were practically screaming at me at that point. I just had to do something. What should I do to play Arisa better? Or who could I, I who should I have used if not Arisa? Okay, uh, there's a lot here, uh, and I don't have time to do a full review. So I'm going to give you the very quick version. I'm probably just going to do first point, maybe second point uh, defense as well. Number one, Numbani is a very technical map, especially the first point is very, very technical. And when I say technical, what I mean is if you don't know how to play the map, it is very hard to improvise it. A lot of other maps, it's fine. Like I say, most of the push maps, you can just improvise. Just, just do whatever, probably fine. Numbani is very particular on both offense and defense for the first point in that it's very, very hard to take and very, very hard to defend if you don't know where you should stand. And if you're like standing down here and you're like, oh shoot, they're going high ground, you have already lost. The, your odds of winning the fight go from 50-50 to like 10%, 10 <laughs> uh, if you are standing in the wrong spot when they come in. So very, very important to understand how to play Numbani. I will link a Numbani guide, um, like tank position guide, so you understand where to be standing. That's number one. Number two, I do not recommend playing Brawl tanks in general on Numbani because it's a very vertical map. So you can see there's a lot of times where you have to go up here, or you have to go up here, right? Or you have to go over here. And if you don't clear high ground, you basically can't win the point, now A, and on defense, same thing, right? You have to be able to get from high ground to high ground to high ground to be able to stop them. Because they go dive here, right? And they go here and they just dive onto your team. You're just stuck on the point, staring at them, spamming shots, hoping you're doing something, which is not going to work. And it's not just this point either, right? Second point has this problem as well for the for all the high ground over here. Third point, I would say, is the only part where high ground is no longer important and you can play Brawler or Pocus as you so wish. But first point, second point, I would say you should be playing dive tanks typically. That's number two. Number three, we haven't seen the, the Bastion play yet, but generally speaking, your goal is not to save your abilities for Bastion. Your goal is to bait Bastion tank form, which lasts six seconds, and then push when Bastion tank form is down, which is 10 seconds, right? I say this as like as a mnemonic to remember, six, six seconds up, 10 seconds down. Six seconds up, 10 seconds down. Very, very helpful as a tank to understand when can I do something and when can't I do something. So you bait his tank form, Wait, hide for six seconds, then you push in the 10 seconds. Because when he's not in tank form, he's very, very uh, gentle. <laughs> not dangerous at all. So obviously, as I pointed out before, you are standing in the wrong spot. You should stand up here by default, waiting and listening to see which way they go. If they go top, you should, you should block this doorway. If they go bottom, you should block this doorway. If they go coast, you can stay here and eventually drop down here and then block this side. Right? There's a lot of other variables involved, but for starters, you are playing the wrong spot. The default rule should always be go high ground. If you're never sure, go high ground on a map and then drop if you're like, oh, this is not working. Because you can always drop quickly from high ground to low ground, but you cannot do it the other vice versa way easily. This is not a place where you fight. So Rock, uh, again, try to play corners. Right, This corner is really good. You, f you use Fortify way too early here. Um, and then in the wasting it, you have 12 seconds until your next fortify is up, which is a really big deal. Just break sh Sigma Shield. It's okay. Just break a shield. The shield doesn't have much health. Don't shoot him when he's grasping. Yeah, see, you need to be very careful. You're, you're trying way too hard to run forwards. But every single time you step out, it's a 5v1, right? Or 5v3. If you just simply step around the corner, just let them walk up, right? Then when the Sigma walks up, he has to fight a 5, you know, plus turret, 6, 6v1. You're making their life easier by stepping in front of their guns, right? Just stay around the corner. Yeah, now he's in, right? See, now he's vulnerable, and now you can maybe kill him. You pop Fortify here, which is not the greatest call, but it's okay. Bastion tank forms up right now. So you have six seconds, right? I would pop spin right away to stop all the Bastion damage, right? Now, uh, okay. So I don't think, I think you're having a lot of trouble keeping track of your health too. So right here. You have 182 health, but you're already safe, but you spin back out, which is okay for like a second, and then you gotta get back to cover. But you see how you linger in the lane when you have so little health, and that's why you just get melted and die. 
the correct response here was to simply just stand here. Like literally stand here. If you want to take your hands off your controller, keyboard, mouse, whatever, totally fine. You don't need to do anything right now. Right? It's your Torb who's who's overextended. I would just literally sit right here and wait for the wait the tank mode out and then go back and start trying to do something. So you give up this point by by just literally walking in front of the Bastion guns. If you watch it from the Bastion perspective, it's probably gonna be very obvious how easy this kill is. Okay. So Bastion's here, right? He's got five seconds until he has tank form. Shooting you, this is all fine, but the second he gets tank form, which is right now, you need to get the cover. You all need to get a cover. Right, you see? Now you spin back out, which is fine. And he's like, okay, cool. Now I'll just kill you as soon as you or your spin ends. So it doesn't seem like you have a lot of experience playing Arisa because you don't know when the spin ends. And it, and it left you vulnerable in an open spot. So there is a mega health pack in here that you could grab, A. B, you need to regroup with your team. Trying to take this aggressive fight right now when five people survived the first fight is really bad because it's going to be five on two right now, five on three. Nice and early. You need to back up right now, not be moving forwards. You need to wait for your whole team to get here, which they are not. Right? This is this is fights tapping too early. It forces Fortify out. Take forms up. Just wait like three, four seconds for this to be over. Yeah, see? Just duck it. That's fine. Now take forms down. Now you push hard. Push, 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 push. Right? Take this corner. So, if you're going to retreat, don't retreat. Walk in the middle lane. Hug the inside left while retreating. Now you pop the fortify again unnecessarily, which is unfortunate because fortify is a really big cooldown, right? It's a 12 second cooldown. You need to make sure that you use fortify only when you actually need it, and you did not need it there. The Bastion's flanking right now. You can hear, you should immediately javelin. Yeah, your first thing to do should have been javelin to stun him. Oh no, Sigma's gonna get a lot of health from that. So, Sigma's gonna get nanoed here to try to keep him alive which is fine. So once this happens, well, you've already lost two, so I think you're pretty much just fight and die here. Nothing, Nothing's really going to matter, because your, your team lost too many. You should just try to die as soon as possible. Though, if you are attacking people, generally don't attack the Sigma, right? Attack the supports. So for example, you hear slash see the Baptiste here, you should try to kill the Baptiste, or the Ana, or literally anybody but the Sigma. Try not to shoot tanks. So you're gonna go forwards. Ah, uh, I think at that point I would recommend spinning because now spinning is not very helpful. Okay, so now go in. So you don't want to pop fortify right now because you only want to pop fortify if people are shooting at you, right? Because then what's the point of having damage reduction if no one is shooting at you? So you could have saved fortify this entire time. You could kill this ant uh, really, really easily. You see how low she is? She's one health. Just, just shoot her. She even walked across. She even walked across your crosshair right here. See? Like, she's literally jumping in front of your crosshair. It would be the easiest thing in the world to have killed her. And that would have been massive if you killed the Ana there. Oh, Genji ends up getting the kill. Right, that would be a good opportunity to spin, by the way, and just spin into him. Spin does 100 damage if you hit them for the entire duration, which is not trivial. So, this is a little bit of a mistake. The second I see the Ana the walk up, I would have walked forwards to try to block her, which you tried to do. It's really hurtful being out of position. But you're down your Ana right now. You don't want to fight... I think you should just go back and regroup with your team and contest at the final point. Because you plus the Moira are not going to defeat like the whole team. you know. And if you stagger here, right, by dying in, out of sync with your team, then what the heck is... How are your team going to defend the last point? See, this is like a big mistake. You see how this ulti doesn't do anything? The, the correct call here was to never have fought this at all. And way back here, it should have been like, Hey, Ana died? Great. I'm just going to go back here and sit behind this corner, right? Or sit here or sit high ground, or anything that's not trying to fight the whole team by yourself. Uh, that is no good. See? Now, because you died, you don't have the ability to contest this, which means they pop window, and then you're gonna uh, end up losing this. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. Um, right, so number one, ha learn how to play Numbani. Uh, very important, I'll link the guy for that. Number two, for Bastion, instead of thinking about it as using your abilities to pop them when Bastion's up, it, it, he does so much damage. Even in Fortify, he does so much damage to you. So your perspective should be baiting tank form, which lasts 6 seconds, counting them out, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 10 seconds, you can do whatever you want, right? They're, they're effectively down a player when the Bastion is uh, outside of tank form. So then you can push down hard, 
and then create space, get kills, whatever you need to do. And then when 10 seconds are almost up, like around eight seconds or so, go back to getting finding cover and, and having some place where you can, you can be safe when he goes back into tank form. So that's number two. Uh, number three is your ability usage is no good. Um, you pop fortify first at all, all the time, when in fact, you should not pop fortify unless you absolutely need it. If you do start taking damage, you should use spin first, assuming your spin will block it, like not for beam weapons. You should spin first instead of fortify, because spin is a short cooldown, so sometimes you can spin, keep shooting, right? And then if you have enough time, you can spin again, which allows you to save fortify. Only use fortify when, when you are super committed, when you're like, hey, like, we, 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 we win or die right now. That's when Fortify should be used. Not like, hey, we're just poking at each other and let's use Fortify. No good. The cooldown's way too long at that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Wait, fourth, fourth, one, sorry, sorry, fourth point would be keep track of how many teammates you have alive or not. If you don't, if you haven't, go to the settings, uh, go to sounds, and then play sounds when enemy and teammates are eliminated. So I think that's very, very helpful to keep track of like, hey, are my teammates dying? Are the enemies dying? And then you can use that plus pushing scoreboard um, to figure out like, is your team up? Is your team down? If your team is down, back up. If your team is up, you should be pushing. All right, I'm going to wrap there. Hopefully this is helpful.